Well, Harry, basically all of the stitching uh, on our boots, on our guitar straps, we will sit at stitchers called flatbed stitchers. Uh, and these are all heavy duty sewing machines and they are basically set up to sew leather. And that's about all we sew here. So today I just wanted to kind of invite you guys into the shop to let you see what I'm doing. I'm gonna flip the camera around here and as you can see, I have a pattern here. This pattern has been cut out into a specific design, and you can see that's in the shape of a boot top, or at least one panel of a boot top. And we're going to sew around that cutout line, and that will form what we will, you know, it's the first row of stitching that we will sew multiple rows around and you can see I've already started here I've got one row laid in on this panel this is a dark blue it's kinda of hard to see in this light but you see I have one one side sewn and the other side is just outlined and we use a silver pin a specific pin made for the leather industry where we can mark on the leather and eventually those silver pin marks will rub right off with a leather eraser or with some leather conditioner you can simply rub those off with your fingertips um, and so that makes it really nice in the old days or still a lot of custom bootmakers will they will cut out their pattern but they won't actually cut it out. They'll just take the thread out of their needle and punch holes with a just a regular needle with no thread and they'll punch holes in the paper and then they'll come along and baby powder on top of that and the powder will go through the hole and leave a line of holes, baby powder holes on the leather. I used to do that when I first started Unfortunately, the powder goes everywhere. It's hard to keep track of, and it, you eventually lose your way. And so I felt like this is a, a much better way. Uh, also, the only other ingredient I have here going on in the background is you might hear some music, which is not just regular music. It's actually movie scores and fantasy epic scores of music. These are things that keep me... Uh, motivated and inspired. So here we go. I'm just going to show you how we do this. We'll sew this row on and I will kind of talk you through the process. Hopefully this is not too shaky for you, but it was basically one stitch at a time and because it's a custom boot and this is not a robotic machine doing this, there's going to be little variances from each panel to the next, which again, makes it custom, makes you know that it wasn't done simply by a machine. Although this is a sewing machine, it's still one row at a time. And I'll show you the next row in just a second. When I get done with this row, I'll lay in another row right beside it with a different color thread, which is pretty neat. Uh, it al again allows you as the artist to put color combinations together with different colors of leather and different thread colors to where you can you know, really create your own look, your own design, and your own style. And I was just thinking as I was sewing that it's pretty interesting. One of the guys who taught me, uh, he his whole take on branding or his whole take on his style was he never put his name in a boot I think he figured that people would know his style simply by looking at it and I think there's a lot of truth to that I think if you if if you've done enough boots then you've created your own look you've created your own style and people you know, eventually will know your boot simply by the way it looks sitting on a shelf or online. Of course, there's a 
there's a lot of us out there so you know there's it takes a while to get your own look but i think we've did we've done that here at ethos we've kind of designed and gotten enough out there that we've created our own style of, of top stitching and own color usage i like to use earthy colors i'm i'm not a real fan of bright real bright reds and yellows and i know a lot of bootmakers are but we like to keep it organic, I guess. We like to keep it earthy. And basically, I think that that makes it to where it, the colors aren't so loud that they won't go with everything. I like my boots to, to be able to be mixed with different outfits and different styles of dress. So not just jeans, but you know, slacks. Okay, so we're done with that row. And now we're gonna change the thread color. And I'll do that real quick. And as I do that, you know, I was uh, talking about different colors. And again, we have a, a whole lot of colors that we can choose from, but there's also the thread weight. And sorry, you can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm simply just changing out the thread. And you'll see now, as I pull this through, you see it's more of a gold color now. And this gold is gonna match that cognac color that I just laid on there. And the other thing, like I was saying, is the thread diameter, uh, the thread size. A lot of bootmakers out there, and even the factories, mostly the factories, like to use a really small diameter thread. And I used to use those, but I like to use something that makes my style pop out a little more. Is a heavier thread. We use a size 69, which is a very heavy thread for this type of uh, stitching. However, I think it makes the, the lines pop off of the leather a little better. And I think it, again, gives us a unique look and helps our design pop out a little bit. So... Uh, now I'm going to lay this second row in there. You're going to see I'm not going to be able to go nearly as fast because I've got to keep the, the row, the second row, really tight to the first row, uh, much like a machine would. So here we go. Watch this. As you can see, I'm not going nearly as fast, but I also have a machine. This machine is set up to go really slowly when I want it to. And also go pretty fast, but fast is not what we're doing right now at all. I heard a great saying about custom or handmade online yesterday, and it was, it was really an interesting take on things, but it was a guy who you would think as a house flipper, but he is a, a guy who buys houses and comes back in and remodels them with the finest of finest materials and design. And so he doesn't like to liken himself to being a house flipper per, per se, because one of his sayings was, we don't do it quickly, we do it quality. So... I don't remember his name, but I'm borrowing that indefinitely because I love it. I think saying that you do it quickly kind of robs the, the idea of quality. So you can see it's not very fast, although I'm probably, fa probably faster than Maybe your average, I don't know. I, it's hard to say. I, I've not seen a whole lot of top stitchers do it this way. Most uh, bootmakers keep things pretty close to the chest. I guess I don't, because I'm broadcasting this to the world. And maybe all five of you watching, <laughs> maybe you'll learn something from this or just find it interesting. Maybe interesting enough to subscribe to our channel. That's what I hope that you will uh, click the button below the screen or below the, uh, the video here 
and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we would really, really love that. And we're going to be doing lots of live streaming. This is a new feature from YouTube. We think it's pretty cool. It certainly serves our needs because we do a lot of things, a lot of different kinds of things every day. And it, it's pretty convenient with an iPhone or with any kind of smartphone that you can just set it up and record what you're doing as you're doing it, talk through it, and maybe you can learn something, and again, maybe just be entertained. So you can see, hopefully on this, on your screen, how close I am to, to each one of those rows. You have to lay it in really tight so you can fit a lot in there. So anyway, just thought we would show you today a little bit more about what goes into making a boot. And this is a cowboy boot. And as we get along with this, I'll probably do some more streaming in the other processes. And you can see it when it's done. And let us know what you think. Again, please subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching this live, thank you so much tuning in if you watch this later as an archive video again take the time to subscribe to our channel give us feedback let us know what we can do better or what you like might want to see us do um, and let's uh, create together we certainly want your input and would love your feedback and even your ideas so for now, I'll finish this row up and we'll be done for this particular stream. And again, we'll probably be doing some early in the week coming up here. And there we have it. That's one row laid in right next to the other. And We're so happy that you tuned in today and we look forward to many more streams as we go along here and hopefully you will keep tuning in to Ethos Custom Brands. We'll catch you later.